Hi there, I'm Luke from Hazelnut Community Farm. Um, many of you at St Mary's know me. I've been a part of the congregation there for a couple of years as well. Um, I have loved reading um, the story of Ruth again. It's such an amazing story, but there was a particular line that stood out to me this time as I was reading, which um, yeah, I felt resonated a little bit with how many are feeling in this pretty um, horrendous time that we're going through. And it was in verse 13 where um, Naomi says, it is more bitter for me than for you because the Lord's hand has turned against me. And this is where she's releasing um, the two, uh, her two daughters-in-law to, to go back to their homelands because they have lost everything. As a widow with no sons, she has lost ev all her status, all her wealth. Um, she has nothing to offer these women. She has released them. There's no obligation for them to remain. But that sort of bitterness um, that she's feeling, that sense of abandonment from God, uh, reminded me of in Job uh, chapter 19. Uh, there's a line where Job says in verse 21, have pity on me, my friends, have pity, for the hand of God has struck me. And yet a few lines later, um, he says the famous words, I know that my Redeemer lives and that in the end he will stand on the earth. And after my skin has been destroyed, yet in my flesh will I see God. I myself will see him with my own eyes, I not another. How my heart yearns within me. Ruth's remarkable commitment sees unity in God as more important than her personal prosperity. She doesn't have the obligation or duty to remain, but she clings on to something that is just culturally nonsensical. The bond of family has been broken by the death of Naomi's sons, but the bond of the Lord uh, that Naomi and Ruth share is even stronger. And we often think of Boaz as the kinsman redeemer in this book. Uh, he's the highest status, he has the wealth and the property um, to redeem the women in, in a more material sense. But for Naomi, it kind of struck me that it's actually Ruth's faithful commitment and love that leads to her material redemption. So no, Ruth is, is a kinsman redeemer um, for Naomi, despite having nothing, despite being the subordinate in that relationship, Ruth trusts uh, God is the ultimate source of redemption. And through that, um, not only is Ruth redeemed, but Naomi also. We don't have to be in a position of power or influence or strength um, to help bring God's redemption to his world and to our communities and to our friends and our families. Like Jesus Christ, who was meek and frail, we can be vessels of God's redemption in our weakness and in our nonsensical to the world, faith in God. I feel pretty insignificant and powerless in the face of global climate, climate crisis, but at Hazelnut Community, I think we are seeking to be vessels of redemption, kinsmen redeemers to the world, by looking not to ourselves, but to our ultimate redeemer. And I know that he lives. I know that in the end, he will stand on the earth and after my skin has been destroyed, yet in my flesh I will see God. I myself will see him with my own eyes. I and not another. How my heart yearns within me.